Well everyone, we get to finally talk about the Samsung Galaxy S23 Plus again and compare it against the Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus and see which specific phone you should go and pick up. Now if you want to pick up either one of these devices, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the same time. Now starting off with the outside of both these phones, what I'll definitely tell you is, is that the Galaxy S23 Plus, I like this phone, you know, I think it's a great upgrade coming from the S22 and kind of the S21 as well. It's a tremendous phone for sure, it's probably going to be one of the best phones you can buy this year. But the Galaxy S21 Plus that came out in 2021, I think was an excellent phone as well. It was a very, very good phone, but since this phone has been out for a little bit of time, you are actually finding massive discounts for the S21 Plus, it is not even funny. That seems like a very, very good price to pay for a phone like that, and we'll kind of talk about that throughout this video. Now on the front, there's a lot of overlap for sure. With the Galaxy S21 Plus, you were getting that 6.7 inch dynamic AMOLED display. Now it's a 120 hertz panel and it's a 1080p panel and it looks very good still. I still think Samsung knocked it out of the park, you know, back then with this type of panel and it looks very good. Hole punch display, there's not a lot of bezel around it. Fingerprint sensor in the display, I mean this phone kind of has it all. And even probably for the next several years, you're probably not going to feel like you have a very outdated phone by any means. This is a very good quality phone and it's still completely worth buying for sure. I mean the hardware is just so good. On the front of the Galaxy S23 Plus, we do have a little bit of a smaller 6.6 .6 inch dynamic AMOLED display. So it's 0.1 inch smaller. Is it a big difference? Not really. You won't be able to tell that big of a difference. You're still getting that 120 hertz panel, still 1080p, so full HD. So in those types of situations, you're not really missing out on too much, which is really nice. So very similar displays. I would probably err on the side of the Galaxy S23 Plus having the better display, but I think the S21 Plus is still a very, very good display. Like they are so close to each other, it's not even funny. Both of them have USB-C ports. Both of them do not have micro SD card slots either. So keep that in the back of your head. Now on the back, you do have frosted glass backs on both of these phones, which is very, very good. So this is something that I have to kind of keep reiterating because a lot of people assume that the S21s in general all had plastic backs. That was not the case. The S21 Plus did not have a plastic back. It did have a frosted glass back, which felt really good in the hand. That was something I really did like about that phone. Now with the S23 Plus, we're kind of getting the same texture, but the issue, not the issue, but I guess the new design is that the camera is now flush on the side on the back of the phone. So it's, you know, it doesn't protrude out. It's just like lace, you know, flat. And this is what I'll say about that. For one, I feel like the S21 Plus looked a little bit better. I feel like that design is the one I would kind of prefer a little bit more. I also like how the camera lens is kind of protected by the exterior of the camera. So that way, if you lay your phone down or if you drop it, it won't really hit the camera lens that much but another thing is Samsung has a very cheap phone lineup called the Samsung Galaxy A series and their cheapest one is like the A13, A14 that they just dropped and they made the A14 not that long ago and it looks exactly like this phone on the back. So I kind of wish they dropped this phone first and then the A14, but they dropped the A14 first and then this one, so it kind of, you know, makes me think that they copied the A14, the cheaper liner for this one. Just kind of a little tiny thing, but not a big deal. But on the outside, I mean, that kind of covers it up. They're both very good looking phones. I think the S21 Plus looks better on the back, but the S23 Plus is definitely a really good feeling and a really good looking phone as well. Now moving on to the camera side of things, the S21 Plus has a triple camera setup, so it has a 12 megapixel wide, 64 megapixel telephoto, and then a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, whereas on the Galaxy S23 Plus, we have a 50 megapixel wide, 10 megapixel telephoto, and then a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. They both can do 8K video on the back, but we can now do 8K at 30 frames per second on the Galaxy S23 Plus. With the S21 Plus, we can only do 8K at 24 frames per second, which is still perfectly fine. And on the front, we have a 10 megapixel wide-angle camera on the S21 Plus and a 12 megapixel wide-angle camera on the S23 Plus. And both of them can do 4K at 60 on the front. Now, what I will definitely tell you about both of these phones is that very, very good cameras. You're not going to go from one camera to the other and just exponentially think to yourself like, oh, this is so much of a better camera, at least in my perspective. These cameras are just so good that I don't see the average person kind of thinking about that kind of stuff. However, in this day and age, I will say, with the way Samsung has kind of been, you know, improving their cameras here and there, I think there is probably some reason why you may want to go and upgrade things like, you know, the improvements for those social media applications like Snapchat and TikTok and Instagram. 
Samsung kind of mentioned that last year, but I guess they kind of upgraded this year, even though they didn't really talk about it. So that's probably one thing to keep in mind. Again, it wouldn't be the reason why I would go and upgrade, but it's just kind of nice to have some upgrades in that specific, you know, general department. But I will say the S21 Plus's camera has been very solid. I've had a great time with that camera at the end of the day. And I definitely would say that the S23 Plus is just a continuation of it. I would say that there's a lot more overlap, you know, so keep that in mind. I wouldn't go from like one to the other just because of the camera, but the S23 Plus's camera is probably the better one. Now, moving on to the software and the longevity portion of both these phones, and this is probably going to be one of those areas between these devices that you might want to go and look into if you're actually going to go and upgrade from one device to the other. So essentially with the S21 Plus, it isn't the last one to be on, you know, software support right now since the S20 is still supported, but there's a chance where the S21 Plus could be probably like discontinued next year. It's still going to be getting software support, security updates and whatnot. So you could use this thing up until like 2025. So you still have about a two year, you know, three year runway in front of this thing, which is perfectly fine. The S23 Plus just kind of just came out. So you're still going to be getting software support for a long period of time on this specific device. So even from that perspective, you were getting a long lasting supported phone on the S23 Plus over the S21 Plus. So I think that's kind of one thing to keep in mind in the back of your head. But regardless, I think both these phones are going to be lasting for a very long time. But the S23 Plus is going to be the one that lasts even longer. So definitely keep that in the back of your head. Now moving on to the performance side of things. The S23, you know, S21 Plus had that Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 chipset inside with 8GB of RAM. Where the S23 Plus has that Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset with 8GB of RAM as well. I also want to add one more thing. The base storage models have actually doubled in size coming from the S21 Plus to the S23 Plus. So the base model went from 128 GB to 256 gigabytes, and then from 256 GB for the top tier one to 512 gigabytes. So that's kind of like a nice little addition there. I will also say with the performance side, with the S21 Plus, you know, I used that Snapdragon 888 chipset a lot in 2021 and even into 2022. I used that chipset all the time for a bunch of different devices that I used, and it was a very good chipset. I felt like it was fairly optimized as well for, you know, performance per battery life. The HN1 of 2022 was probably the chipset I used the most, I would say, probably that year it was you know probably under the iphones that i used it was probably that chipset i used the most for a lot of gaming that i've done and i would probably say that that chipset because i always had my phone plugged in i didn't really have to worry about battery life but a lot of people complained that the battery life and it just wasn't as optimized on that one the hn2 should be a bit more optimized than that so i'm going to go ahead and do battery comparisons and whatnot but i'm going to say that the you know, HN2 on inside of the you know S23 Plus is going to be the better performing battery. It's going to be the better performing phone over in general. And I will still say though, the S21 Plus is still a very fast phone. No matter what you're going to do with that device, you're going to be getting a very, very fast phone with a bunch of capability. And it still has, you know, support for a long period of time. And I still see a lot of devices coming out that are more like the budget tier side that still have that 888 chipset. I mean, the S21 FE that just came out last year, that phone still has a, you know, 888 chipset and a lot of people still buy that phone. In fact, I still see a lot of people using chipsets even older than this, like the 865. So personally, I don't really think you're missing out on too much and it's still a very good performing phone there, but the S23 Plus is definitely going to be the better performing phone when it comes down to it. So to kind of sum up this whole entire video, what I'll tell you is I definitely do think that the S23 Plus is a better phone in pretty much every single area. I think if you want a better battery life, if you want a better phone, if you want a better this, that, that is definitely going to be the phone I would recommend the most people to buy. But the S21 Plus, if you're on a budget or if you still want to buy a really good phone, the S21 Plus is a well-rounded older device. It's a very good phone. And if you can, you know, if you're okay with the 128 gigabyte model, I would recommend going for it. You know, I think it makes sense. But if you want to get the S22 Plus, go for it. But I would probably recommend going to the S23 Plus at that point. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything, also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.